Hey guys, it's Kieran Ball here again, and I've been working on a spaceship game. Uh, so, I'll just click play, and what this does is it randomly generates a uh, small galaxy with about a hundred planets. Not about, there is a hundred planets. Uh, each planet has a randomly generated amount of people on it, and is either hostile or neutral. If it's neutral, you can colonize it, like this one with no people on it. And if it's hostile, it'll go red when you highlight it. Uh, this one's got 3,000 people on it, this has got 600. Uh, you can kill the inhabitants of the planet. Um, you can mine the planet and uh, take money, but I haven't really done anything with the money yet. Uh, the money is used for upgrades, like making your ship faster. Of course, there'll be a lot more levels than that. Uh, survival chance, the chance you've got of uh, surviving when attacking the enemy planet. Uh, so I'll just take a few people with me. Your planet slowly regenerates uh, based on how big your population is. So if you've got a massive population, it'll rebuild, uh, go up faster, much like you would expect in real life. Um, so we'll just colonize this planet. Uh, so you can mine the resources. So we'll just suck the blocks out of it. If you suck all the blocks, the planet blows up. You can take the money, which currently does nothing except a little pretty graphic. Uh, then you can go home. Uh, you can also choose to go from planet to planet. You don't have to go home to go to another planet. Um, so I'll colonize this planet, and now this planet's mine. Population goes up and money goes up. Population goes up fast just for testing purposes. Uh, as you can see, the planet is red at the moment. Uh, it'll uh, change to a different color. Uh, the emptier the planet is of people, the uh, goes to this red color. So that green planet in the distance. Um, Okay, this planet's going to be like this color or something. Um, yeah, it chooses a random texture for the planet. So there's green, there's purple. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go back home, make my survival chance more, take more people, and I guess I'll kill a planet so I can attack it. Uh, it does your ship shoots out red lasers? Uh, planet shoots out blue lasers. So currently, because I've uh, upgraded my survival chances. Uh, 400 of their people have died, only 80 of mine have died. Um, as you can see, this planet's already starting to go slightly red, it just changed again. Um, might speed up the battle scenes a bit, I don't know. Um, the solar system is actually orbiting, everything orbits around uh, my home planet, which is right there. Um, also, the planet, see how it's now completely red? Also, the planets that you are uh, own will always have a text above them so it's easy to find them and uh, I've nearly killed this planet and there we go it's, I've killed it so I can colonize the planet and now it's my planet um, if I do mine the resources out it will blow up so I'll just stop mining for a sec um, yeah so if I mine the resource out it'll blow up and get a bunch of resources mine this planet out too boom yeah um need to fix that that's the tractor beam it's very dynamic so it um need to make it disappear take money the month taking money does nothing at the moment I haven't really bothered with that um yeah so I might make resource mining not blow up the planets as easily. Well, it looks pretty cool blowing it up and then cubes coming out after you. Um, ship's just a bunch of uh, primary uh, shapes. haven't really done anything on that. I'm not a good artist. I'm not a good modeler. Like all of this here is really basic stuff. They're just circles. Um, the script that runs this um, I only have a few scripts um, running it. Um, probably not going to be able to show it properly. There we go. Running Windows 8. Good stuff. Uh, so it's 130 lines for the uh, 136 lines for the camera. 150 lines for the uh, uh, planet handler script. Um, all unindented. I could indent. It, don't want to. I prefer mine unindented. I don't know, I just just how I like to program. Um 
the background, I don't have a skybox. I did, but I got rid of it because it was just, I don't know, just a black skybox. It looked really, really plain and horrid. So I've got uh, stars randomly spawning everywhere, and I reckon it looks pretty. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was working on a mini map, but uh, due to the 3D space of being able to rotate and uh, Unity lacking a rotate uh, texture on the GUI, it's uh. Oh, why is this down here? Um, didn't work out too well, but I don't know, I reckon I really want to put one in. Um, I don't know if I want to continue working on this or not though, but um, might just do it as a little side project. It'll probably never get finished, but I will, I'll see what comes of it. Um, yeah, that's about it.